Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial on the Nagios XI SNMP Trap Interface. The XI Trap Interface allows administrators to easily define, track, edit, and test SNMP traps. In this video, we're going to walk through the interface and show you how to use it, basically walking through the workflow from defining a trap to configuring the passive check. Let's get to it. The SNMP Trap Interface is on the admin page in the XI Interface on the left sidebar in the Monitoring Config section. When you click on the link, the first tab of the SNMP Trap interface shows Received Traps, which you won't have yet. Once we define a trap and receive a trap of that type, it will show up here. Let's add a trap definition in the second tab here. In the topmost section of this page, we handle the trap details. The OID field is the critical detail, as the OID is what the system matches up to the definition when a trap comes in. All the other fields in this section can be defined as best suits your needs and your unique environment. In the next section down, we define how the trap handling subsystem sends the trap as a passive check to the Nagios passive check workflow. When we check the box, and fill in the fields in this section, we allow Nagios to handle the trap as a standard passive check. When we fill in this section, the first time the trap comes in, it will appear on the Unconfigured Objects page, where it can be quickly configured as a passive check. The host name, check status, and service output fields can use macros. Click the question mark to see what macros are available. In the Exec section, we can set up one or multiple commands to run when a trap is received. Lastly on this page is the Advanced section, where you can configure other SNMPTT functionality. Once you've defined your trap, you can find it and edit it on the Define Traps tab. Here in the Advanced tab, we've got a number of testing options. Also, check out the unknown trap log down at the bottom. If you don't see a trap you're expecting to, you might just find it in this log. If you find a trap in this log that you thought you had defined, double check that the OID in your definition matches the OID that is actually received. The last thing we're going to take a look at in this tutorial is the last step in the workflow of going from receiving a trap to getting passive check results in the XI interface. Once we have the trap defined, with passive service setup checked, the XI trap interface will recognize the trap when it comes in. You'll see it in the list of received traps. We still have to make an Agios config for the trap though, so click here on the left sidebar on Unconfigured Objects where you will see your trap. Configure the check, and the next time the trap comes in, you'll see it here in the interface. Questions? Comments? Let us know in the section below.